so hello students today i have come with the, the last topic of lesson number 1 the last topic of lesson number 1 is nature characteristics features of coordination okay you can learn the five nature of coordination or you can say these are characteristics of coordination or they can be learned as the features of coordination right there are five nature of coordination one that coordination integrates group efforts second coordination ensures unity of action third coordination is a continuous process fourth coordination is an all pervasive function and fifth coordination is the responsibility of all the managers okay so we will learn one by one regarding them first of all let me give a brief description of first three characteristics of coordination that means coordination integrates group efforts coordination ensures unity of action and coordination is a continuous process as far as coordination integrates group efforts is concerned so the thing or the question comes in mind that how coordination integrates group efforts efforts of individuals or groups into one the simple answer is by synchronizing them or you can say that by unifying diverse interest basically it gives a common focus to group effort to ensure that the performance is according to the plans performance is according to the plans okay so i have made two main important or you can say key points for this particular characteristic of coordination coordination ensures or integrates group efforts number 1 by unifying diverse needs of different individuals and by giving common focus to group efforts right second thing is that it ensures unity of action coordination ensures unity of action as we had already discussed in the previous sessions that the work and the task of individuals working in the organization are different they are meant for different purpose of activities say for production finance marketing human resource management purchase their interest their beliefs their working their methodology is different from one another so how coordination unite them so the answer is that by acting as a binding force between different departments right it also ensures that all actions of individuals aimed at achieving the goals of the organization the very purpose of coordination or management is to fulfill the organizational needs to achieve the organizational goals effectively and efficiently okay so the two points are that number one it is a binding force between the departments one thing second thing it ensures all actions are towards the achievement of organizational goals by combining these two points you can write regarding them fine now third is that coordination is a continuous process what we discussed in the earlier chapters or earlier topics that why it is a continuous process why management is continuous process the same thing applies with the coordination as it starts at planning stage where the top level executives 
सीनियर मोस्ट एग्जीक्यूटिव ऑफ द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन प्लान फॉर द एंटायर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन और द होल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ओके अकॉर्डिंगली द रिसोर्सेज आर अरेज स्टाफ इज एम्प्लॉयड और ऑथोराइज रिस्पॉन्सिबल अकॉर्डिंगली द गाइडेंस सुपरविजन मोटिवेशन लीडरशिप कम्युनिकेशन इज डन विद स्टाफ सो दैट दे कैन वर्क इन द डिजायरेबल मैनर एंड एट लास्ट कंट्रोलिंग इज डन सो दैट इट कैन एंश्योर दैट एक्चुअल परफॉर्मेंस इज इक्वल एंड टू द प्लान परफॉर्मेंस सो कोऑर्डिनेशन इज अ कंटिन्यूस प्रोसेस एज इट बिगिन्स एट द प्लानिंग स्टेज एंड कंटिन्यूस टिल कंट्रोलिंग राइट टॉप मैनेजमेंट प्लान फॉर द एंटायर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन according to these plans the organizational structure is developed or prepared and the organizational is well equipped with the staff right then directing is required for execution of those plans managers used to guide the staff or the employees those who are working on different positions that what is expected from them on those particular positions then controlling corrects the deviation spot deviation means differences between the actual performance and planned performance okay so controlling corrects the deviation between planned performance or standards and actual performance right so what i have given you these three main points one relating to uh, coordination is a continuous process one number one thing it starts at the planning stage and continues till controlling planning organizing staffing directing and controlling fine top level plans for the whole organization correct then according to the laid down plans organization of resources is done staffing the departments is done directing of efforts of individuals employees working in the organization is done and controlling of activities is done to ensure that actual performance is equal to planned performance correct please note down now let us see the fourth point and the fifth point of the characteristics of coordination okay the fourth point is that coordination is an all pervasive function we had already discussed that what is the meaning of pervasive that means required everywhere the need of everyone okay likewise coordination is required not only by the top management or the middle management it is required at all levels of management and in every department right please note down then it integrates efforts of different departments and levels then helps in achieving organizational objectives okay when coordination is prevailing or required everywhere and prevailing everywhere then the objectives of the organizations will be achieved effectively and efficiently right the fifth point is that coordination is the responsibility of all the managers it is not the responsibility of top level management only to coordinate the activities of different departments different levels of the organization but it is the responsibility of each and every manager working in the hierarchy of management in the or organizational hierarchy right so it is the responsibility of all managers then what these managers used to do relating to coordination in their area of activities so top level managers need to coordinate 
with their subordinates that means middle level to ensure that the overall policies of the organization are duly carried out or met fine middle level after the top level middle level management coordinate with both top and supervisory level we already had discussed in the previous session that middle level is a linking pin between top level and supervisory level so they used to coordinate with top and supervisory level okay then the lower level that means supervisory level first line managers first line managers or supervisory level coordinates the activities of workers and they also ensure that their work or the performance is done according to the laid down plans right so these are the four and the fifth fourth and the fifth point of characteristics of coordination okay now the last point of characteristics of coordination is that coordination is a deliberate function it is not a function with which is imposed on anyone that is why it is not the part of all the five functions of management it is basically the essence of management what we need to accomplish the organizational goals is coordination if coordin in the absence of coordination planning organizing staffing directing and controlling will be proved as futile okay so it is a deliberate function as a manager has to coordinate the efforts of different people people in a continuous and deliberate manner okay they should not be done without cooperation okay it is also said that cooperation in the absence of coordination may lead to wasted efforts cooperation in the absence of coordination if cooperation is present but coordination is not okay then whatever the efforts managers will put all those efforts will lead towards the wasted efforts those efforts will be wasted okay and coordination without cooperation may lead to dissatisfaction among the employees right so it should be done in a deliberate and continuous manner okay so what you will write in the fifth point one thing that every manager contributes towards the achievement of organizational goals okay second efforts should be continuous and deliberate okay and then you will write cooperation in the concluding part conclusion part cooperation in the absence of coordination lead to wasted efforts and coordination without cooperation may lead to dissatisfaction among employees okay please note down all these points very very important topic okay and here is the end of lesson number 1 that is nature and significance of management i hope this lesson is clear to you all okay in my next session i'll forward some of the worksheets some important board appeared questions i'll discuss some of the questions i'll carry one uh, question bank okay we will discuss some of the questions and then we will move towards the next lesson of class 12th business studies that is principles of management right till then be safe and keep learning thank you